Howdy folks, Moose here. No, I'm not laying down the job. And if I could, I'd stand on my head because I am head over heels over the Ruckard electronic dry cabinet. That's this bad boy you see right here with all my gear in here. 800, 5, 6, bodies, lenses, 200, 400, all my gear. Everything I've used for the last six weeks is in here right now. Why? Why have this cabinet? What's the story? Let me explain it to you. So you know that I'm really, really fastidious about keeping my gear clean. It's got to work for me. I mean, I don't have the opportunity, to, the second chance, for gear to go down and go get a shot. It's got to be working for me when I'm working. So let me give you just a little glimpse into my world for the last six weeks. I was up in dusty, dry Nebraska photographing chickens and grouse. Then I, I flew home, just a day, repacked, flew off to the Doolittle Reunion in Ohio, photographing aircraft, greasy aircraft, photographing folks. Then I, I flew down directly from there to Photoshop World, Orlando, humid, shot, worked around there before and after the event, came back, drove over to um, Williams, California, dry, dusty, worked on an assignment there with gliders. Then from there, I went to Cape May, New Jersey, photographing birds, humid, dirty places. And during that time, I didn't come home. All my stuff was in the truck for each one of those jaunts. I'd, I'd fly to the airport, change all my gear in the truck in the airport, fly back out, fly back, change stuff three times. So this gear never really got dry. It never got the proper cleaning that you see in my videos. It's so important to me. That's where the record electronic dry cabinet comes into play. So normally I'd come home, gear sits out for four days, low humidity here, easy to clean, super clean, electronics are dried out, good to go. Well, two things. One, I didn't have four days between trips. Two, we had a lot of moisture. In fact, it's snowing right now. So to get it dry, so I can get it properly clean, the record dry cabinet is essential. I mean, you can see all in here. Now, what you see in here right now is after the fact. What do I mean by that? So what I did is I came back, put my gear in here, closed the door, let it sit in here for 12 hours. You can see the humidity and temperature, okay? It's below 30%. I keep opening the door so it's, you know, raising. Drying it out. No caps on anything. Caps were taken off. Gear got dried. I took it out, cleaned it all, clean all the caps, put everything back, it's back in the cabinet, so I'm getting ready to go on my next trip tomorrow. Now, this cabinet, and that fact that I can dry my gear, makes electronics work longer, sensor cleaning simpler, more effective, and it does it with a short turnaround time that I have. Now, you might be saying, I don't have to worry about that turnaround time, perhaps, but you could be living in a place that has a lot of humidity, which in itself could cause you problems over time. This simple unit, very effective unit could save you and your precious gear. I mean, personally, I don't have time for, for repairs, let alone getting loaners for gear. It's got to keep working. So having in this cupboard makes it all the difference in the world. Now, this is the 80-liter bottle. They make a small one, a 30-liter. But the 80-liter, like I said, 800.56, bodies, lenses, 200, 400, other lenses up there, all fit in this cabinet. Safe, sound, dried out, ready to go. The Ruckard Electronic Dry Cabinet. I really recommend you look into it, if not investing in one. Your equipment deserves the best, and this is going to give it to you. The Ruckard Electronic Dry Cabinet. Check it out.